Hi everyone. You know, two things that really help winemakers make better wine is understanding your vineyards and controlling uh, temperature and extraction to build texture into your wine uh, during fermentation. And we control those things, one, by having small fermenters like this punchin oak fermenter that can hold about one half ton of grapes and allows us to divide up the vineyards into really small lots if we feel it's necessary to make sure we capture the best of the best. But then these small fermenters versus medium fermenters versus large fermenters also help us influence the temperature. Now here at Donlin, we, we don't have a way of controlling uh, by cooling things down. So we have this small room where we can warm things up. And with, with small fermenters, you're going to lose your heat more quickly. You don't have as much mass to kind of hold on to that heat. So while this is insulated as oak, it's still going to lose its heat more quickly. So we can put it in a room like this to warm it up. We have other bins over here that are a little bit bigger. Uh, these hold about just over one ton worth of grapes. These are not insulated plastic bins, so they also lose their heat more quickly. And then what we'll do is we'll match a vineyard or a variety with, uh, with a fermenter based on its perceived potential extraction. So many of you are probably familiar with Obsidian Syrah, which is a fairly burly, rocky vineyard, and it makes a fairly burly, tannic wine. Obsidian is something we would put in small bins like this, but we wouldn't keep it in this room because these small bins are going to lose their heat quickly and it helps us slow the extraction of that tannin because tannin extraction is largely controlled by time and temperature. So if we can keep the temperature down, we can make sure that the tannin extraction is at a rate where we can dial in that mouthfeel. Now what's in here in this warm room is Pinot Noir. Now Pinot Noir does not tend to over-extract. You're usually not at risk of over-extracting a tannin. So even though we'll put it in small fermenters to isolate that variation in the vineyard, we want to maintain the temperature and keep the temperature warm. So we have this nice room that we've, or tasting room actually, that we've uh, protected with plastic and we'll keep it about 80, 85 degrees in here so these fermenters not only get to a high temperature but stay at that high temperature, again, until we've dialed in that mouthfeel and that texture.